bottles. That's my girl. One of the things that we've always been worried about here has been our water supply. We don't have uh, water back here for our animals. We've been refilling this tank with water from our spring box by taking this trailer back around to the cabin. And with the drought that we're under right now, it's really severe and our spring is getting much more um, limited in the amount of volume that's coming out. So we're a little concerned about that. On the good side, we have a river and uh, or a creek, I should say. And so we decided that it's time to take the plunge and actually fix um, our water situation. So we're getting a gas powered water pump and we're gonna try that out and I think it's gonna work pretty well. We should be able to go down to the river, pull this down there and fill it up from the river and uh, have all the water we need. And this is really a backup just as part of our preparation for you know whether we lose power or whatever, we've got another way to get water to our animals. We have seven cows, we have probably 18 hogs, we have two horses, chickens, and all those need a lot of water every single day. So we just cannot uh, go without water for any length of time at all. And so this is critical for us to get this figured out. So that's what we're working on now. Again, we're gonna pull this out of the box. We're gonna see um, just how it works. It's a gas powered water pump and uh, we'll we bought a hose kit that goes with it, so we should be good, but let's give it a try. We have our friends Dave and Julie here. They're uh, in for the week, helping us out with odds and ends, so we're grateful they're gonna help us out today with this. Got the trailer hooked up to the tractor. All right. Hope let's it works. Make it happen. It's just digging down the ground. Go in the water, Capone. Happy day. Look at how clear the water looks. It's just beautiful. How many people does it take to hook a hose on? What the heck is wrong with this thing? I think it's the angle. Now see, your side is off. Oh, so yeah, yeah, it's, it's, an, angle, it's it an angle issue. If you don't do them together, it's not gonna go. I'll try to yeah. hold it in place. Yeah, okay. pushing in the hose. <clears throat> this should not be that hard. I've done a bunch of these. There, I think, there. I think it's gonna go now. Yeah. Yep, there we go. That's good. A little tight. Fabulous. Well, it's because you're first time you're putting it on. Both of them partially started. Yeah. It's I just a it. very tight fit. Got it. Yay. Which is what you want. Okay, oh. now flex the muscle. Where with this? Flex the muscle. Pump. Flex the muscle. You got the yeah. <laughs> Someone's listening to me. <laughs> Suction hose upwards to the pump to avoid air pocket. Me reading? You reading the directions. Oh my gosh. It's a miracle, it. folks. <laughs> Oh, and the angels it sent is. down from heaven. Julie, prime it. Come yeah, on. We got to prime it. We can't operate it without it being primed. Fill it up. Uh. <laughs> She's got it primed. I think I got a lot of hot air. Yeah, you do. <laughs> there we go. Now Dave's fill priming it. Our poor animals have to drink from this water. <laughs> Yep. So this is actually how you prime it. Yeah, you just fill it with water. Okay. But I gotta have a bigger. We don't have a bucket, do we? No. Yeah, just gotta fill up a few of them. We forgot we unloaded all of the buckets at the house. Yeah. Would have been quicker with a bucket. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the water pump needs to be primed, and that creates. What happens is once you start the motor, it'll start the impeller in here spinning, but it has to have water in here push that water out it creates a suction behind it and that's what sucks the water so once you prime it, it it's fine okay yeah you, be quiet you're full of something most of the time it's the check valve right there there's a check valve that doesn't let the water go back yeah it's going to hold the water okay so when, so it the, doesn't when drain we get out. suction though it'll pull that valve open which will then suck the water up the hose okay all right cool let's see if it works no. and then we got to put the hose that gotta into get the this hose straightened out bin. ready to go where's the rock he must have another one that he's pushing around. 
You got this, Dave. You got this. Get some core work powered into it. Hey. Yeah. Once we, hey, Julie, put it in just a little more. Because once we get it, then it'll start flowing down. Good. There you go. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. It kind of goes in like fits. There we go. There we go. What? Stop! Came out. So the, the hose keeps kinking and it's making the motor get hot. So we're going to actually move the tractor forward to get the kinks out. <laughs> She's the queen of the parade. get my feet out of the freezing yeah. water. Yay. It is filled up. Fantastic. Tell me, babe, are you pleased with your purchase? Yes. Yes. This bad boy can pump some water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we had our hose situation straightened out, we just need to get a hard hose on both ends. Yeah, that <clears throat> one is not good. So we're going to do the green hose on both sides so we don't have to fight with the kinks. And uh, we can fill this thing up in about five minutes yeah the biggest risk we have with this pump is forgetting to drain all the water out because one freeze and that this thing ruins ruined. it yeah yeah so as long as we do this we're good to go keep it long long time and this thing's always going to have water no matter how cold it gets we can suck water out of this yeah and, uh, good much be easier than getting those five gallon buckets that we used to have to get every time we came down here, remember? Yeah. yeah before we had a oh, spring. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We, I forgot about that. Yeah. I yeah. used to get my workout. <laughs> you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Determine that Waddles is in heat. So we're gonna let Waddles in. Hey, pork chop. No, stay over here, honey. Right now, she's put on plenty of weight. Come on in with the other adults, girly. Wait, there we go. Good job. Okay, so mark the date. We're gonna see if any action happens here. Three months, three weeks, three days. We'll see if anything happens. Now we're just getting it in the proper position for good drainage. Ta-da! Too sturdy. Fresh water. Happy pigs. Well, we got our first tank of water filled up from the creek. And uh, makes me feel really good because now we know for sure that no matter what happens, if we lose water at the spring box, we lose power, we can always go to the creek with a gas powered um, water pump and very quickly fill up our water tank. So now we have enough for the cows, the pigs, the horses, and everything. So one more step in our journey forward of uh, being able to be self-sustaining. The guy, he needs to breathe. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You want some more lovins too? Yeah. We love the bellies. Such a good baby. 
Okay, okay. I know. You want more, don't you? Yeah. You've got to live a good life, don't you, babies? Someone's chewing on your shoelace, Julie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Must have shoelace. There's a love connection being made.